Here at Dubility, we believe that one key to data quality is keeping careful watch over data from the very moment it starts coming in. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to do just that using SurveyCTO's built-in Data Explorer. Say I have a household listing survey just getting going in Zimbabwe's Eastern Highlands. Training has just finished and a few enumerators have started collecting their first real data. Let's see how it looks. I'll start by logging into my SurveyCTO server console. I'll click over to the Monitor tab and scroll down to the Form Submissions section. I can see that I have 18 complete submissions so far, so I'll click Monitor Form Data, and then I'd like to view all submissions and all fields for those submissions. I'll go ahead and start the Data Explorer. Now, my listing survey isn't that sensitive. But I still don't want hackers on the internet or even Dubility engineers or server administrators to be able to see my data. So I've encrypted it with my own 2048-bit encryption key. In order to look at the data now, I'll need to let my web browser have access to the private key so that I can decrypt the data for me. This will all happen locally on my computer so that neither my key nor any of my decrypted data will be accessible on the internet. Okay. So now here I am in the Data Explorer. If I want, I can zoom in on the 18 submissions that I have so far and inspect them one by one. Since my enumerators even collected, for example, photos of the households that they interviewed, I can even view the photos and I can look at all of the data that they collected. But I find it easier to start with a more aggregate high-level view of the data. So I'm going to go back and click to add some field summaries. Here I can see all of the fields that are in my survey form. I'm just going to go ahead and select all and save that. So this is going to add a summary of the data that I have available for each of the fields in my survey. So for example, here I have the start time field. This is when each interview was started. I can see that five were started yesterday on November 30th, and 13 of them were started just today, December 1. I also have the end time field for when interviews ended, but these are really short surveys, so it's not that interesting to me. I'm going to go ahead and delete it from my workbook. All of my enumerators are also logging in with the same login, so the username field isn't that interesting to me either. The duration field, now that is more interesting. This is the time in seconds spent on each interview. I can see that the shortest interview was only 90 seconds long, which is really quick. And I can see that the longest interview was nearly 400 seconds long. Note that I can zoom in on any of these things to inspect the individual submissions, even click on any graph elements to view the submissions behind those graph bars. So I have just one enumerator team in the field, and I have four different enumerators. So I can see that Rejoice has collected six interviews so far, Precious only two. They're all operating in a single province, Manika land, but they're split across two districts, Mutari and Chimani Mani. Because I'm collecting the GPS positions, I can see exactly where the interviews took place. So here I can see 10 clustered around inside Mutari, and then eight down here in Chamani Mani. I can zoom in and see exactly where the interviews took place, and even drill further down into individual submissions. Now here's my informed consent. I can see that actually nine of my respondents so far have refused informed consent. So we're at essentially a 50% refusal rate. It's a lot higher than I would have expected. So the first thing I want to do is think about the relationship between the enumerator and this refusal rate. So I'm going to go ahead and add some relationship summaries. I'm going to look at the enumerator, consent, also interview duration. I'm going to look at that by enumerator. So for the interview duration, a cross tab isn't that useful. What I want to see is the mean or average duration by enumerator. So I can see that Mercy is doing pretty well. Her average uh, interview time is only 147 seconds, 
for her five interviews so far. Precious is a fair bit slower on average, but note that Precious has only done two interviews so far, so she's probably still getting the hang of things. Now, when it comes to consent, what I want to do is look at percentages by column, because what I want to see is the, the consent and refusal rate by enumerator. So Precious is doing really well so far. She's only had two interviews, but both have given informed consent. Mercy's also doing pretty well. She's had four interviews with informed consent and just one without. But Joanna seems to be off to a rough start. See that Joanna's only gotten consent from one out of five interviews conducted so far. So I might follow up with him. So I could look at respondent names. They seem to be collected well. And look at addresses. Just uh, browsing over them, I can see that one address is missing a house number. So I might drill into that, look at the GPS position, and correct the house number in the office. I might also talk with the enumerator to make sure that they collect the uh, proper address in the future. You can see one of the few questions they ask is how many household members are in the household. Uh, I could see that there's one household here with uh, 17 household members. That's quite a lot. I might uh, drill down into that and uh, make sure that that's accurate. I also might think about, for example, the relationship uh, between this number of members in the household and the interview duration. So I could look at that here. And I could see that actually, sort of contrary to my own expectations, uh, households that have more household members seem to be taking a little less time uh, for interviews overall. So this is something I might keep an eye on as the interviews progress. So I could do a lot more to explore my data here in the Data Explorer, but I'm going to stop here. I'll just save my workbook so that when I come back, these same summaries are here, configured just the way I left them, but with all of the latest data. Thanks for joining me.